down, brother. I don't want to follow that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. This is Larry. Say hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. This guy, I didn't know what to think of him at first when I met him. Now he's just, he is a true servant of Christ. Uh, going to Bible study. When you first came here, did you ever think that you were going to be going to Bible studies? Men's work, men's studies on Sunday morning. I got a story. When? <laughs> Bruce Gilbert called me. A lot. And he asked me if I wanted to go to Bible study with him. And before I could say no, I said yes. Out of nowhere. And when I hung up the phone, my wife looked at me and said, What'd you say? <laughs> so, no, I, I would have never thought. <laughs> So, um, we've had plenty of conversations. Uh, I think he's probably going to talk about one conversation that we had in particular, but I didn't realize how God was moving in his life. The Holy Spirit was just knocking on his door. He was waiting for him to open that door up to his heart. And uh, I, I, can't, I can't tell him. It has got to be uh, come from him, so. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank my wife for never giving up on me. <laughs> okay, so I knew, I became, I knew Jesus when I was a little kid. We had a church bus come by our house, and uh, they asked my mom and dad if we could go to church when we were kids. And, and they, they said yes. I think it was so they could have Sundays by themselves, you know? <laughs> but. There she is. Uh, I'm glad she did because I actually got saved then. And it didn't really mean a whole lot to me then. You know, I kind of used it like you say, fire insurance, right? I used to have a saying that I'm going to have a little shack. I know I'm going to have a little shack in the corner of heaven. And that was good enough for me. But it's not anymore. Amen. So uh, when I was a teenager, I got into drugs. And I got into drugs pretty bad for long time in my life. Long time. And even though I was a sinner, bad drug addict, just a bad person all in general, God was looking after, after me. He has big plans in my life. And I, I don't know what they are, but because I was somewhere I shouldn't have been and the police tried to kill me. They shot at me and I actually ran away. I tripped and rolled down a hill and, and ran away. And that was God, in my opinion. And God tripped me. And he saved my life. And so, you know, this is a pretty bad life. You know, a lot of drugs. A lot of, a lot of bad things. Rode with a motorcycle gang for a while. <laughs> Met my wife. We quit doing drugs together. We had four years clean and then her son died. Which sent us over the deep end. And then, uh, I chose today to get baptized because today is one year from the day that I first started coming to this church. And the Holy Spirit is in this church like you would not believe. Amen. My wife, before, before we started coming, she'd drive by the church and she said, I'm going to go to that church. I want to go to that church. Every time we drove by, she'd tell, us, tell me that she wanted to go to this church. So, we decided... First Sunday last year, we new New Year, new us, right? We came. It's amazing how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Every every message we start crying, and our marriage was as it was a wreck. I, I was a bad guy. And I don't know if you believe that or not, but I was. <laughs> you believe it? No, I was a bad man. Uh, let's see. I could probably count two hands of all the things that was wrong with me. Drugs, alcohol, porn, you name it. I was, the devil had his hooks on me, and every time I tried to get a little bit better, 
He just grabbed a hold of me and drove me down deeper. And I was, we was coming to church, and it had probably been about a month, and the guy kept telling me, call Pastor Jason. Because I, I wanted to change, and I wasn't changing, and, and I didn't know why. And I kept telling me, call Pastor Jason. Call Pastor Jason. Call Pastor Jason. And finally, I listened to him. Call Pastor Jason. And he set up a meeting, and I went, and well, I was telling him all about my life story and everything. And he told me, you know, I said, you know, I was saved, but I didn't really feel it in my heart. I didn't feel Jesus there. And he said, well, you only need to ask Jesus to come into your life once. So he set, stood over me, put his hand on my shoulder, and he prayed. And as he was praying, I felt the Holy Spirit enter my body. And he changed me like that, oh, that day. Amen. When I left the church, I left a new band. That's no lie. And as I keep my walk, as I keep continuing my walk, I just become a better servant of the Lord. And I'm telling you, I love God. He's amazing. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. <laughs> didn't tell me that story until a couple months ago. Right. We all were wreck at <laughs> um, But you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Is it your desire to be baptized today? Oh, yeah. In front of all your people? Yes, sir. Amen. Well, it was my privilege to Larry to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. They're the Holy Spirit.